my channel welcome to like a cozy little home vlog i mean we might leave the house to go run an errand today because we haven't left the house like since like i haven't left the house to go out in public since like before christmas but for the most part i just want to be chilling at home today i don't know why but i put my coffee in a to-go mug today but it's okay i'm kind of vibing with it but yeah i just want to like chill at home today catch you guys up on like what's going on around the house i really want to sit down and give you guys all of my recent reads i was gonna put it in its own video but i decided to just like put it in a cozy little home vlog because i just thought that would be more fun and i'm in a huge reading slump right now so like i don't really want to make a whole video about all the recent books i've read you know what i mean i think the thing about me and and we're all so different in that sense is that i'm like very dependent on my mood and so for example, yesterday I was feeling really, really motivated and so I filmed a few videos yesterday. Like I batched filmed them in one day. Spoiler alert, I do do that. Today I just want to like chill and do nothing. And so I think it's really important to show this side too that like, yeah, I'm all about making goals and getting ready for the new year, but I also think it's important to just rest and relax. And when I binged the entire second season of White Lotus Unboxing Day, we had such a chill, relaxing day. We didn't really want to do any shopping or anything. So that was really nice. And for me, I feel like I can only take so much relaxing before i have to like just do stuff you know what i mean so anyways today is just gonna be a fun little day at home i've been trying to kind of do like one work day and then like one relaxing day when i have a day off because obviously i am working the week between christmas and new year's but we are finally working on the nook i'm trying to hide it from you guys right now so i can do like a grand reveal and i have also finally decided on our vax flash which is so exciting if you guys are new here we renovated our kitchen back in like july and august so it's just been like chilling like this since because we couldn't decide on a backsplash but we're actually going to ship lap it which i think is going to look really really nice vertical ship lap but we're really excited about that so i'm hoping we're going to do that in the next few weeks but i'm so excited to show you guys this we finally freaking found something that fits in the nook and i cannot explain my excitement right now real quick if you guys are new here this used to be maybe you can find a picture if i can find a picture i'll put it in a pantry but the thing is it's a really weird size a lot of things about this house are really weird honestly this is 27 inches which is like super weird and it's just like not a normal standard size for a cabinet and if you look the issue is that this wall is a lot shorter than this wall you can kind of see it here so it's really hard to find something that's this narrow. And so we had to ultimately decide that it was going to stick out, which is fine because if you look over here, like this sticks out. But Matt was actually on Boxing Day looking on the Canadian Tire website and he was like, okay, this is super random, but I found this. It's supposed to be a laundry cabinet, like for a laundry room. And it fits literally almost exactly perfect. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Honestly, I ordered new handles that match... This one, because we got like a 20 pack and we were obviously ran out with the kitchen. So those are actually coming today. So I ordered the matching handles and then we're actually going to contact the people that did our countertops to see if we can get a piece for here just so it's like cohesive and then it'll go to the border. And then we are going to do two floating shelves from Ikea. They're just out of stock right now um, and they're long, but Matt can just like cut them to fit here. I do have to do the second coat of paint still because you can still kind of see the marks, but I'm so excited. It's just oh it makes us both so so happy i really love this color too like this wood countertop we also consider doing like a wood countertop instead of the laminate but we do really just want it to be cohesive so we're going to contact the people that did our countertops about getting a piece for here which i don't assume will be too much because i haven't filmed the video yet about how much our kitchen costs because i'm just waiting for everything to be done but i think our whole countertop for our whole kitchen was like a thousand dollars so um I'm really, I'm just so excited and there's just tons of storage in here. We kind of have random stuff in here right now. Honestly, very excited about that. Bella literally just stole my spot. Um, I've been up since about 7.30. I had no idea it was going to snow today and there's a lot of snow out. I feel like it has not stopped snowing since Christmas or even before. When did that storm start? The 23rd. So it's just been snowing for like a legit week straight. It's kind of crazy. But I was doing some work this morning, replying to comments and just, um, catching up on like life admin stuff for the business so yeah but the plan for today is we're just gonna chill at home honestly i do want to do a few little things i want to put like my christmas shirts away and one thing i'm really trying to do going into the new year is just be very intentional about the clothes i buy and something i want to practice a bit more this year is just like cost per wear you know i do want to try and get out of the house at one point i think and going to indigo would be kind of fun to go to the bookstore because i do want to get a book too i got a bunch of indigo gift cards for christmas 
So I want to get some stuff there. Maybe we'll go over there today. I also need socks. So maybe we'll pop into Marshall's next door. It's like my favorite duo and there's a Starbucks there. So it's like perfect. I need some like more like socks for the winter. Now that it's getting colder out. Like I have a lot of athletic shorts or shorts, socks, but I need more of like the tall socks and the warm ones. So I also want to give you guys an update because I freaking love my super puff. Okay. I never thought I'd be that girl. And I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, if 2021 Carter heard me saying this right now. Um, but I am so impressed with it. I love it so much. The quality is so great. I actually ordered the super puff mittens as well, which were kind of pricey. They were like 40 something bucks, but they were on sale on boxing day. And I want to see how warm they are because I obviously have like generic mittens from like Marshall's, but I've never bought like good quality mittens. And on the really cold days, I thought maybe those would come in handy. And if they're as warm as the jacket is, then I'm set for the winter. So we'll see um but i really love my super pop so far i did get the midi one i'll show you guys after i didn't get the long one because the long one is just kind of like annoying when you're in the car and going places and when you're walking i just like hate i don't know maybe it's just like a tall person thing or just me in general but i hate when you're walking with a tall jacket and it just like kind of cuts off like your knee you just feel kind of stuck so the mid one was a good length the tall ones were out of stock i just got the normal size and it fits me perfectly i'm really really happy with that purchase and that was kind of like a little bit of a christmas present to myself i had been saving up some of the cash back on my neo credit card to put towards that so i think i ended up paying like a hundred something bucks because i just used my cash back and i got like 30 bucks cash back on it so i love that for me so those are just some fun little updates but yeah today i just want to hang out around the house just kind of like recharge spend some time by myself after the holidays and yeah put away some christmas clothes maybe put together like a january tbr and i think i might have a package coming today from book outlet because i did get two non-fiction books on boxing day that were like five bucks each i love book outlet so much they're the best they're canadian i don't know if they're like a wholesale book place but they have like mega discounted books i don't know how but they're just so cheap and great so i got some books and i'll share those when they come in the mail today hopefully and yeah but I've been in a huge reading slump. Uh, if you look on my Kindle right now, I have like 10 books that say like 2%. Like I've started so many books and I just can't get into anything. So I'm just letting myself like feel my feelings. Not feel my feelings, but like I'm letting myself just be. I'm not pressuring myself to read. We're just gonna, you know, read when we want to read. But I do want to get back into the habit of doing nonfiction in the morning. I stopped reading nonfiction because... And it was always like ugh, self-help books but there's so much more out there that's non-fiction besides self-help books you know i really want to pick up cultish so like that just sounds really fun to read right now and i'm trying to lean into books that sound good so maybe we'll go and get that today a lot of you guys said that was one of your top reads of the year so whenever someone recommends it as a top read i like to get the physical book especially for non-fiction in case i want to like annotate it so yeah we're gonna have a cozy day go to the bookstore i think that would be fun but it'll mostly be a cozy day at home and just like a chatty day I just want to like hang out with you guys you know so welcome to the vlog <laughs> on i don't know what it was i was just kind of feeling blah today and i really just needed like a little bit of makeup so i just did the tinted l'oreal what is that called serum i'll show you guys after the hyaluronic with some blush like i just i don't know i just really needed to like get a little bit ready put some mascara on like that's literally it um i just want to look like i don't know sometimes when i'm having a cozy day i don't really care and i feel like the thing is, is I haven't vlogged the last few days. Like, I've filmed sit-down videos. I batch filmed them yesterday, like I said. But before that, I haven't really, like, gotten ready in the last few days. Matt and I have literally been sitting on the couch doing nothing. It's been great. But I just wanted to get, like, a little bit ready today, honestly. So, not that I have to justify it. You do you. But my outfit for today, I'm just wearing this Henley. It's from Old Navy. And then just some Lulu joggers. These are the ready-to-rulu joggers. And I size up 
two sizes for my liking size. These are a 10 because I like them a little bit looser. And yeah, but we're going to go outside. I'm going to shovel. So I was probably going to play in the snow, get a little zoomy out. And then, I don't know, the roads don't look awful they don't look great but i really just like i'm craving getting out of the house so i think after i shovel we're gonna do that and then this afternoon we'll have like a whole hangout to talk about the books we read recently like all that kind of jazz and just like stay home so loves the snow so much do you want to go play in the snow okay let's go do it come on oh oh we're so excited we're so excited i'm needing more socks i meant more socks like this that are just like a good thick sock which these are great these are like little reindeers i don't mind wearing them all year round honestly but i just want more because i only have two pairs but the entryway is a little bit of a hot mess right now we need to bring these if you guys live somewhere where it snows or rains a lot i highly recommend getting like a rubber collar this one is from coastal because it's not like a fabric collar, so it doesn't like get all gross. I've never bought a jacket this expensive, guys, so I'm scared to take the tag off. But I love my super puff. It's not actually that cold. I might just wear my other one, honestly. It's only minus two out. Maybe I'll wear it. I'm actually shocked that it fits me because I'm so tall. I'm 5'11", if you guys didn't know. And it fits me perfectly. And I love this part. So it has the... Um, can you guys see? It has like the grippy thing here which is awesome if you're a bit taller but yeah this is how it fits this is like the mid one i'm just gonna like tuck all my hair in a success i got myself a little afternoon tea you can't walk around the bookstore without a beverage so i just got a mint tea and a butter croissant but i already demolished that indigo was a success i'll show you guys what i got when i get home and we're gonna go to marshall super quick okay we are home and i don't plan on leaving unless i'm checking the mail and going to the dog park but like we're not going back out that was it actually wasn't too too bad you just drive slow um but i scored the jackpot at indigo and marshall's actually and the best part is like i didn't have to pay anything for it well I think I've had to pay like four dollars on for indigo stuff because like I use both my gift cards but I'm so excited to show you guys what I got I love a good old shopping when you have a gift card it just hits different so at Marshall's I literally just got socks like I said I just needed some like thick socks and I don't really care about the patterns I really loved these ones I'm really into this color um these ones I don't really care but I just need some nice warm socks at the dog park do you guys remember how I literally just said that I ordered super puff mittens I'm canceling the order because I found these and they were half price and they're so warm and once again I'm just like obsessed with this like muted color right now but these are the love and lore they are 78% recycled 3m thin slate insulation advanced designed by scientists to reuse recycled plastics and help reduce waste on the planet I literally love that so much I'm just like obsessed with how long they are too like they're gonna fit under my jacket they had a ton of colors so i actually think i might order the black ones they just didn't have the medium large in stock which i found kind of weird i didn't know like mittens came in multiple sizes but they were half price so they were 17 dollars. so i think i'm gonna order another pair and cancel my super puff ones love that okay i was out of eye patches and since i was at indigo and they were still running their boxing day sale i was like i'll just get them here because i have a gift card so i got the patchology chill mode soothing cannabis seed oil infused eye gels which i'm so stoked for love a good cannabis product I feel like my definition of recharging is like you know eye mask doing a little ice roller with a little hot coffee in the morning reading your book by the christmas tree it's just the best honestly and then i picked up a new face roller because mine is a few years old and it's starting to make that like sound it's not like a fucking donkey but they had this one and once again it was on sale so this is the aurea brand i just like loved the color of it honestly and it's a stainless steel material so i thought it'd be interesting to try that out compared to like the plastic one you get on amazon and i'm just like obsessed with the color i'm gonna put that in the freezer here is the book that I wanted to buy myself. It's the cultish book, The Language of Fan Fanaticism by Amanda Montel. I'm so excited. A lot of you guys said this was one of your favorite reads of the year, so I'm really exciting. Just talks about like cultish groups like Scientologists, Soul Cycle, social media gurus, and using language as the ultimate form of power. 
I think it's gonna be so good. So I'm really excited. I honestly might start this today because I'm really pumped about it. So that's my little haul. Like I said, I got a mint tea and I think I'm honestly just gonna chill for the rest of the day. I really wanna do my reading wrap up, like rapid fire style. So I think we're gonna do that. And then just like cozy up. It's a night, I mean, it's still snowing. We're gonna have a nice night in. And I'm honestly thinking about buying Paramount Plus for a month so Matt and I can watch the new season of Yellowstone because like I just, I just need to watch it and I was really trying to boycott Paramount Plus because I just think it's stupid how they moved it over to a new platform knowing everyone would pay the money and here we are giving in but I don't know how else we're gonna watch it and we're about to be done White Lotus so I just sat down to get some editing done. Wow, curling my hair was an actual flop today. Cute. Um, but we're gonna do a rapid fire books I've read in the last three months. I don't even remember anything about these books, honestly. It's so bad. Um, I think it's I need to talk about October, November, and December. October. First book I read was Where We End and Begin by Jane Aguero, which I gave 3.75 stars. I don't even know if I'm gonna do all the work by putting things on the screen. It's so much work. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. They live in Africa and then she got the opportunity to go to college in like America and then they broke up. And then like 10 years later or something, she comes back for a wedding and sees him and it's like fate all over again. To be honest, this I just didn't like the secret in this book. I just couldn't believe that like she didn't tell him the secret. I'm not gonna spoil it, but I was just like really pissed off. Also the relationship she had with her dad was like, I don't know her family dynamic was also kind of off for me but yeah it was like cute it just wasn't like that big secret just totally ruined it for me the book was bad girl reputation which is the second book in the avalon bay series by l kennedy i gave it three stars um it was a bit better than the first one this is about like a bad girl her name is genevieve and she comes home for her mom's funeral and like bumps into her ex-boyfriend evan and then you know they live in a small town they like keep doing the little run around again a little second chance romance about two exes who can't stay away from each other it wasn't as problematic as the first one good girl complex there's just a lack of plot a lack of character growth i'm just like not loving on kennedy's newer stuff i think like the style is just not for me um uh, i found that the writing was super choppy and the plot was just really confusing so not memorable okay then we got survive the night by riley sager which is a five star i feel like this one's super hit or miss for a lot of people oh my gosh this book was so good i honestly think this book put me into my slump it was so good i went into it with like really low expectations because i was like i don't know how they're gonna stretch this book out to make it good if you guys haven't heard of this book this is about a girl named charlie and she's like leaving university because her best friend just got murdered and she's going back home and i think it's a it says across the country but i think it was only like a few states away and then they have this like ride share board and this dude came up to her and was like yo i'm driving like i don't know let's pretend it's ohio to ohio and then they go together and the whole story basically takes place in the car and then she starts to think that he's the campus killer and like he killed her best friend and i just thought the plot twists were honestly amazing in this and somehow riley sager was able to write this book and not make it boring over the like 12 hours they're in the car i don't know how i thought it was amazing honestly a lot of people literally hated it so i think it's just a really hit or miss book but i loved it i reread love in other words by christine lauren and i gave it three stars again it just doesn't hit for me honestly there's a lot about that book that annoys me i tried i tried again and it just it's okay i just think it's overhyped then we have heartless by elsie silver which is the second book in the chestnut spring series and i gave this five stars and i thought it was better than the first book honestly a lot of people are here so we're just gonna have to talk louder so good oh my gosh i loved it this is about willa and cade and cade is like a really grumpy single dad and basically he's like a rancher and then she becomes his nanny and it was just so good and wholesome like a very good age gap single parent grumpy sunshine small town cowboy romance it was perfect i honestly loved it 
It was so spicy and good and like absolutely amazing and Funkin' the Limited. I read The First Time We Met by Joe Lovett, which I gave three stars. It was an interesting premise. This is a basically about a girl. Her name is Izzy and she doesn't believe in love at first sight. And then she goes into a coffee shop and she meets a guy named Sam. And she's like, oh my God, like he's so hot. But then it's actually his wedding day and he's getting married. And then you fast forward a year later and then they reconnect again. And then they like never forget each other. Their paths finally cross like 10 years later. It was one of those like soulmates find each other throughout like all the obstacles that life has to offer. I just really think that this whole like soulmates over like years and years thing is just like very overdone now and it's like the same recycled plot and just like nothing new the plot which was like kind of irrelevant to the real plot and then the age the like long time gaps were just like too much for me then i finally read the nightingale which was amazing five freaking stars by Kristen hannah if you haven't read it you need to i know i'm so late to the game but it was absolutely amazing just amazing i talked about it in my 2023 reset but but then i started reading more of her books and i didn't love the other ones as much but we'll get into that in november i read merry little meet cute by sierra simone and julie murphy i gave this three and a half stars it was pretty cute i loved how sex positive it was it's about a girl named b and she is a plus size like she's kind of on like their version of only fans and basically her like adult film producer friend is also doing like a christmas hallmark movie romance and he their main female lead drops out so he casts her and basically the main guy is this guy named nolan and he is like a he was like a teen heartthrob boy band trying to get his like reputation back in order and he recognizes her from i think they call it closed doors which is funny only fans closed doors um account and is like oh my god like i follow this girl on her only fans and then yeah yeah you all can tell where it goes i don't know i thought it was really cute i really love the inclusivity like the different dynamics the porn star the plus size all that it just i didn't feel their connection and it was just a boring book honestly but loved the inclusivity we love to see it then i read king of wrath by anna huang and i gave this three stars i was really disappointed with this one it was just a very recycled mafia romance like there was nothing new about it um i mean the twisted series you guys know i, I love i've given them all pretty much five stars this just I don't know to me it was just the same recycled like unimaginative mafia romance you know um same scene same character same spice like same plot like all that stuff then i read the stranger in the mirror by Liv constantine which i gave 2.75 stars an interesting book i'm literally i pulled up the goodreads because i don't even know how to explain it this is about addison Addison is about to get married, um, but she doesn't remember her fiance because basically a few years ago, a driver found her on the side of the road bleeding and her memory never returned. So like she's marrying the student. She has like no idea who he is. Okay. And then as for every suburban thriller, it's like two stories happening. But then there's also Julian who is trying to figure out what happened to his wife, Cassandra. She like disappeared and you know, the two lives are like intersecting. They're trying to figure out why, blah, blah, blah. The twists were just like way too fucking much. Like they were not even like good twists. Like they were so far fetched. It was really good, honestly, until like 70% of the book. Like I would have given it probably like 3.75 stars, maybe even four. But then in the last like 30%, it was just so far fetched that I was like, no, I'm sorry. Like absolutely not it it was just like implausible in my opinion then i read city of girls finally by elizabeth gilbert which I highly recommend if you enjoyed seven husbands of evelyn hugo it kind of gives the same vibe i, I gave it 4.25 stars i really really loved it the only thing i will say is i thought it was way too long it definitely could have used another round of editing and been like chopped down a little bit in my opinion this is about a 19 year old her name is vivian and she goes to new york city because she got like kicked out of college and she goes to live with her aunt who is like a flamboyant owns a theater in new york city and basically you know she's like figuring herself out sleeping with people and you go through like all the time of the 1940s world war ii it talks a lot about female sexuality it's not a romance by any means there's like barely any romance in it honestly which i went into it thinking there was a lot of romance i just feel like nothing really happened in the book i'm trying to see how long it's 470 pages and it's just like a little too long it was really good overall but it really just needed a little bit of trimming like i found myself getting bored another book that put me in a slump is if he had been with me by laura nolan which i believe is on kindle unlimited this is a ya romance but it fucking crushed my soul it's like a first love coming of age story that literally crushed me it's about autumn and finn they've been best friends forever it kind of goes to like the end of middle school to like high school the end of high school and like how they like 
are super close their families are super close and then they start dating other people i thought it touched really well on like subjects that kind of occur with coming of age depression family issues loneliness her progression in romance and love um i just thought her writing was really really beautiful honestly it was really captivating and i just didn't expect it to be this good i was like oh it's gonna make a cute little read and oh my gosh it just like stabbed me in the heart it was it was so 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 good then i read the four winds by Kristen hannah i was on a Kristen hannah kick and none of her other books are hidden like the nightingale I gave this three stars. The book touches on the Dust Bowl era and the Great Depression in Texas, I believe in 1934 and like the 1940s. And it's just about a family who's trying to survive. <sighs> I just, I didn't love it. This book was just really depressing and not in like a, like pulling on my heartstrings way. Like it was just full of a lot of misery and death. And it just, I don't know. The ending was really predictable and all for like a good heart-wrenching book but this was just too much it was too much sadness for me I move on to december where i read two books i read attempt which is the ninth book in the cloverly farm series by melanie harlow this one was so good this was like an age gap ex-boyfriend's dad it kind of gave me um what's that book called birthday girl by penelope douglas that book give me those vibes um this is about millie and zach and they meet at a bar for the first time and you know they have a little one night stand and then a month later millie is going to her ex-boyfriend's wedding because she's a wedding planner and she realizes that the guy she hooked up with is her ex-boyfriend's dad it was very spicy i will say very good honestly loved it and then the last one i read was a little novella by jessica kane which jessica kane never disappoints her books are some of the spiciest i've ever read in my life and this was enticing the scrooge but it was just really unhinged spicy to be quite honest someone on goodreads described it as cinderella meets a christmas carol and that's a good way to put it like it was just so spicy i just could i yeah like a smut fest honestly if you need something quick i think it's 89 pages to hit your goal for the year for reading this this is it this was so much more wild than any of her other novellas i'm so here for it and yeah so those were all the books i read in the last three months and now i'm in a huge slump and that's that but hope you enjoyed that little wrap up i'm gonna work for a little bit and kind of curate my january tbr go through some january new release books and all that stuff and i'll chat with you guys in a sec i literally am just so curious where the day went because it's already four o'clock but i guess it's because we were having a relaxing day and we got some mail so let's open it and we have to do it in the kitchen because there's no good lighting anywhere my christmas card from thomas who's my manager i think it just came a little late because of the storm it be so cute i could not ask for better management i literally love them so much they wrote me this cute little note and okay well I already know what this is because I saw it on everyone else's story. It's a candle that I'm so excited about. Oh my god. Look how nice it is. It's like a big ceramic candle. Shifted, which is my management company. I love that. Wow. Amazing. Okay. This one, I don't really know what it is. Oh, actually. Okay, guys, literally so on brand. I got a package from Organica, which is the collagen I use. I'm actually working with them on an Instagram campaign. Like, how fitting is that? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. They sent me three kinds of collagen. This is one I normally take, the enhanced collagen, but I'm very excited about these. Ooh, and this one is a bone broth flavor. That's exciting. So, really excited about that partnership. Last one is Book Outlet, which their packages are the best to open because they're just rip this thing and then we have some fun non-fiction books because like i said 2023 my non-fiction era i think you're wrong but i'm listening i'm really excited to read this i got the name totally wrong in my habits video but that's okay we've got we've got fair play and then this one i'm really excited about this one is radical candor to how to be kick-ass boss without losing your humanity really excited so super pumped about that super fun little haul
Okay guys, the hair had to go up. It was annoying me and I felt like the sweater was fitting for our little self-care recharging night routine that we're gonna have together. Matt just got home. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to do a grocery haul because you guys love his grocery hauls. Um, but I always ask Matt if he wants to be on the vlog before I like shove a camera in his face. I would never do that. Hi. Hi. Did you get good groceries? I got a few. Do you want to give him a grocery haul? Well, nothing was like a... Oh, it wasn't anything great? wasn't any cool promotion. Like oh. Can. Like it? What'd you do? Do you not notice that I changed oh, the nice. handles? Oh, nice. To the ones that we have already? Yeah, they look really good. I did it myself. Did you? Did you love what? Is it, yeah. Is it... I think so. Yeah. Still love we it. lost one of our Christmas balls at the park today. Which one? Because somebody, somebody decided to bring her ball into a snow mountain and then proceeded to lose her shit because she couldn't find it. Oh, no. One of her squeaky yep. Christmas <clears throat> balls. At least we have the other one. So. Yeah, and that's what that's why they're five dollars. Yeah, exactly. Alright, sit. All right, give us a grocery sit, haul. Sit the, oh, it's really not an exciting one. It's really is, not a vegetable. This is just light. So it is. The first one is the salad kit. Love 50 it. percent off. Oh, this is my favorite one. I know, I got two Chopped of them. Chopped Caesar. I got two of them. Mm. The the vegetables weren't a good choice. That's okay. Got bananas, because I like bananas. We love. Then I a Christ Mask the Raspberries, dollar seventy-seven each. That's a pretty good price on this. Yeah. And then I Christ Mask the Blueberries because they're not on sale any, anywhere, so I got one seventy-seven for these. Oh wow, that's a pretty cheap grocery haul. Yeah, fourteen bucks. 